today we're going to be talking about the new Rare Beauty Stick Bronzer and Translucent Setting Powder. So I picked these up recently on the Sephora website, so I decided to create a quick video, come on camera, share my thoughts with you guys, swatch the shade that I got, and give you guys my thoughts on these two new products. So let's start with the bronzer. So this is called the Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. So it comes in five shades and it retails for $23. You get seven grams worth of product. And I picked it up in the shade Always Sunny. Always Sunny is described as a rich caramel with neutral undertones. So this is Always Sunny. And of course, I will swatch this shade next to other bronzer shades that I have in my collection so that you guys can get an idea of this shade and how it compares. This product is described as a breakthrough bronzing stick for a quick, visible, sun-kissed glow with a smooth, seamless, second skin finish. Just swipe, blend, and go. The innovative liquid light cream bronzer stick melts into the skin for a visible sun-kissed warmth that won't fade. Ultra blendable and buildable, it glides on weightlessly, making it easy to softly sculpt the face. The non-greasy, water-resistant formula won't cake, crease, or clog pores. It's a vegan formula, with, uh, it's made without parabens, so that's kind of the deets on it. People seem to be really liking this. It has a pretty good high rating on the Sephora website. So of course I am going to be trying it on and giving you guys my thoughts on it. So let's talk about the new powder. So this powder is called the Always an Optimist Soft Radiance Setting Powder. This retails for $22. It comes in five different shades and you get 9.5 grams worth of product. Now I chose the shade light medium. So I am more of a medium to tan but I did not dare buy the medium shade. I felt like the medium was gonna be a little bit too dark. The model that they used, which I'm gonna put that picture right here, her complexion looks a little darker than mine, uh, even though it looks beautiful on her, right? Like, when I saw that, I was like, oh, her complexion is gorgeous. She's got that gorgeous, like, caramel skin, beautiful skin. But when I saw the model they were using for the shade medium, it made me a little nervous that it might be a little too dark for me. So I went ahead and ordered the shade light medium. Uh, this is the model that they used for the light medium shade and I felt like her complexion was a little bit closer to mine than the one in the medium category. Uh, so the light medium is described as a true peach for light to medium complexions. Um, so the description on this, it is a loose powder formula, natural finish, light coverage, best for oily combo and normal skin, vegan and made without parabens, it's a silky do-it-all talc-free loose setting powder to visibly smooth, blur, and control shine for a soft, natural finish and all-day comfort. I'm going to be doing a wear test on the bronzer. I am also testing out a new foundation. So I figured while I'm testing out a new foundation, I will wear these products for 10 to 12 hours, come back on camera, give you guys my thoughts on it, and let you guys see if the bronzer fades. Uh, from the time I applied it to later on this evening. So the powder, I didn't really apply a lot of powder. I'm not somebody that likes a lot of powder. I am 42, I have dry normal skin. Right now it's a little bit on the drier side because it's been like three degrees here where I live. So the last two weeks my skin has been more dry than normal. Uh, but normally I'm in the normal range. So I did not apply a ton of the powder, but I did kind of loosely just you know, set my my uh, foundation and makeup and kind of used it a little bit to kind of buff everything together. So I have a lot to say about both of these products, but I'm also curious to see how they will wear throughout the rest of the day. Once we get through the application, then we will get into the swatches of the bronzer next to other bronzers that I have in my collection. Then I will come back 10 to 12 hours later and give you guys a 10 to 12 hour check-in. And in that check-in, I will get into my final thoughts. So. I will see you guys then. Okay, so I'm testing out a few other makeup products. I do have two different eyeshadow looks on, even though they kind of look similar, they're two different products. But I wanted to turn on the camera and test out these two products because I was curious about them. This is how it comes. I only got one shade in it. I'm hoping this shade is good. 
So this is the shade, and that's a good shade. I think that's gonna be a good shade for me. Um, and then I did get the Always an Optimist uh, powder. This is a soft radiance setting powder. I did pick this up in the shade light medium. This color actually looks like it might be a pretty decent color. We'll see. So this is how it comes. So it looks like I need to slide this open and then it's got this little tab right here, which is pretty easy to grab. Um, I like that. I like this closing locking mechanism. So you push it open like that and then it comes out through here and then you close it like that because a lot of the translucent setting powders that i have make a freaking mess right that's one of my biggest pet peeves with a lot of the translucent setting powders that i have and it stops me from using them is when the packaging is too messy that is one of the perks of the hourglass translucent setting powder that i personally love is it's just kind of mess free and i don't have to worry about it dispensing too much and then I've got powder everywhere and then I end up wasting it. Also, the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder is pretty expensive. The tub of it lasts me a very, very long time because I'm not wasting the product. A lot of the times when I'm using another powder, I feel like I waste more than I use. So I do like this packaging compared to just other packaging that's open or packaging that has like a, like a little pad that kind of, you know, covers it because that pad kind of absorbs a lot of the powder as well so this packaging i'm here for so what i'm going to first do is i'm going to go on with the bronzer because this is in the stick i'm just going to go ahead and draw it on like this it feels like it's got a nice emollient texture to it so hopefully it will blend out nicely by the way i'm using the bk beauty 106 brush and that blended beautifully look at that perfect right that blended like a dream exactly how you would want it to blend out I mean can't complain about that that is amazing look at that now I am wearing a new foundation and kind of testing it so I will be able to kind of test this and see how long it lasts um, I'm wearing the foundation for 10 to 12 hours today. See if it lasts as long as a powder bronzer. But look at that. That is a nice bronzer. I'm going to go right over the edges with my foundation brush and just kind of clean it up a little bit. I like that a lot. What I like about it is it's even though it has an emollient base to it, it's not making my foundation underneath become transparent. A lot of the times when you're using a product that's too emollient based, um, it can kind of create a shine on the skin and then it makes whatever you have underneath it kind of become transparent. And it's a very buildable formula. So it's got good color. I quite like this. So far, I'm impressed. So far, I really like it. I'm curious to see how it wears because I, that's obviously going to be the true test is to see how it wears. What I do also like is that this lid clicks into place. So you want to push down on it and make it click. Fabulous. While I'm on the Rare Beauty train, I'm going to go ahead and put on some of the blush. I'm going to mix these two shades. I'm going to mix I'm going to mix the shade Joy and Bliss, which Joy is the like dewy formula and Joy is the matte. And I like to mix them on the back of my hand, take my brush, dip into it, and apply. I have way more control that way. That's just my preference. Now I like to go in a little bit heavy because once I go over it with translucent setting powder, it will lighten up. Let's go into the powder. Now I'm looking like a painted doll. So I'm gonna start with about this much. By the way, this is the color of the light medium.
powder, you guys. It's really, um, it's got a tiny bit of a shine to it. So it doesn't make you feel like really mattified. And again, I did not use very much, which I don't use very much setting powder anyway. Um, but it was just able to kind of calm everything down and kind of blend everything together. But I felt like I did lo lose a tiny bit of the bronzer on my cheeks. So I'm going to grab a little bit more of the bronzer and apply it over top just to make sure that it, you know, stays throughout the rest of the day. So I quite like this bronzer. We'll see how it works. Even though adding a little bit of the translucent setting powder kind of made it disappear a little bit, but I was able to kind of bring it right back to life with adding just a little bit more, which that can happen, uh, especially with bronzers and blushes. I do do that sometimes. So I'm not completely mad at the way this looks. Right now it is around 12.30 in the afternoon. So we'll see how this wears throughout the rest of the day. But so far, I really like this bronzer. I'm kind of excited to continue to kind of play around with it. Uh, but so far, so good. So that's it for the application. Let's go ahead and jump into the swatches of this shade that I picked up. I will compare it to other bronzers that I have in my collection. And then we will get into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. Okay, you guys, so it is 10.47 at night. It's probably been at least 10 to 12 hours since I applied the bronzer. So, so lots to say. Um, I've changed a little bit since we seen each other last. I had to, We. I live in a ski resort town. We got a ton of snow today. Uh, it's supposed to snow for the next couple of days, which I'm not mad about it. We need all the moisture we can get. Last, some, last winter, we didn't have a very good winter, so I'm really looking forward to having a lot of snow. And normally my husband and I do like a tag team on the plowing. So he does the machine and then I do all the hand, like the hard to reach areas with the shovel. So I'll do like the sidewalks and kind of around the garages and all of that. Some of the hard to reach areas that you just really can't get to in the machine. So it was snowing while we were plowing. And I think that's kind of what happened to my forehead, but I'm not hundred percent. So as you can see, I have this line. So Correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember reading the description and it said it was kind of waterproof. Well, it wasn't snowing hard, but it was snowing. So it snowed enough to make my hair flat, first of all. My hair's flat. And then right here along the forehead line, so you can see like right where the bronzer is. And then you can see this like line right here where I'm missing bronzer. Are you guys noticing that? It's weird. It's weird. So I don't know if it's where like the snow kind of hit right and it just kind of like faded that bronzer away i'm not sure um i feel like i need to test this another day because it does look really good on my cheekbones it's just right there my forehead looks super funky so i need to test this another day see how it wears um and kind of go from there i don't feel like i can fully give my thoughts on it without testing it another day so i'm going to continue to wear it along with the setting powder and i'm also going to wear the setting powder with a foundation that I am very used to and have used so many times. I'll probably wear it with my Beauty Blender uh, skin tint that I'm kind of obsessed with. So that way I can really know how the setting powder works uh, using it with a foundation that I know and love. So I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. But I do have to mention, this is my new onesie that I got from Skims and I'm kind of obsessed with it. I got it for Christmas and I'm obsessed. Let me show you. I'm gonna zoom you guys out and look at this cute onesie. Oh, it is so cute. Look how cute this is. It's so cozy and it has a hoodie here on the back. I love it so much. This is like who I am. I wanna sleep in it and I wanna wear it all day. Like this is just adorable and I'm here for it. I love it so much. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I did buy the extra small small for my daughter who is much smaller than I am. She's a teeny little girl. Uh, <laughs> even though she's almost 19, but she is teeny. Um, and I normally wear a small in shirts 
and I normally like in my like my pants I'm like a size 1 25 26 waist okay I bought the small medium and I feel like this fits me a lot better I tried on my daughter's which was the extra small small and it was a little too small so I'm really glad that I bought the extra the small medium for me fits perfectly and it's kind of just cozy right So it has been a couple of days since I reviewed and played with this Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer. So I wanted to pop on and share my full thoughts with you guys. I've been wearing it for the last couple of days now, so I really know how I feel about it. There are some pros and cons, which I will get into. Let's start with the bronzer. I actually really, really like this. It's a beautiful, easy bronzer. Um, the shade is quite warm. Um, so kind of be mindful of that for me anyway. I mean, it says it's a neutral, like a caramel, like a rich caramel color with neutral undertones. But for me, this color is quite warm, which I'm not mad about it. Don't get me wrong. For me, I like a warm bronzer. But for those that don't like a warm bronzer, um, even though it says it's a neutral, I would say this is way more warm than neutral. So kind of just know that. I personally like it. I have found it to be extremely long wearing very easy to apply and I don't necessarily think that it is fully um, water resistant only because like I mentioned I you know had a little bit of the snow kind of drop along my forehead and it faded in that area so I would not go as far as to say it's water resistant but it is a nice very beautiful blendable formula and I quite like it I'm quite impressed with it and I think this is gonna be like a go-to product during the summer because it's just so easy to use and I really like it when I put a cool contour underneath it so yes I can wear it alone like I am right now but when I like it the most is when I have a cool contour color underneath it to kind of carve out the cheek and then kind of blend this over top it's beautiful so this is bomb like fantastic five out of five love it let's talk about the powder i actually really like the powder as well i've used it with three different foundations now and it's a great powder i wouldn't say that it controls shine as long as like my translucent setting powder from hourglass but this is a really nice powder and the packaging makes it like better than some of the others that I've tried. I've told you the reason why I love the Hourglass is not only because I love the formula, but I love the packaging. I don't waste as much. Out of all of the other ones that I have besides Hourglass, I will be reaching for this because I do like it. I think it's a lightweight type of translucent setting powder and I don't and I don't feel like it exaggerates wrinkles or texture or anything like that. It's very, very soft and lightweight. So if you were curious about this powder and maybe you are looking for something that you want to buff. So I've mentioned this a few times, but my friend Mel is the one that taught me how to buff. She would take a big round brush like this and she would go over and buff the bronzer and blush and kind of soften up all of the edges. But there was a lot of powders that I can't do that with because it can age my skin but this powder doesn't do it and neither does the hourglass so this is a nice powder i quite like it i think they did a great job on the powder and i love the bronzer and these are both a win-win they really are so those are my final thoughts sound up down below in the comment section have you guys bought any of these new products from rare beauty let us know in the comment section down below your thoughts so that's it for this video thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend and i will see you guys all in my next video love you bye